I started golfing when I was three. I, on my third birthday, I got a little plastic tyke set from a neighbor down the street, and he just hit the hit a hit in the backyard, and I started hitting it over the fence. And um, my dad went out and bought me a uh, like a, a real set, and ever since then, I just never put him down. When I was 14, I qualified for the U.S. Pub Links, which was a huge amateur tournament. So I uh, realized then that I probably had a good shot of playing college golf. I had an opportunity to watch them in some, some big summer tournaments here in the regional area and then uh, through our state tournament. And so I, I saw a guy who controlled his golf ball really well. Uh, you could tell he was a fighter. A lot of people uh, come in and they're, they're adjusting as freshmen. Well, he wasn't a freshman on the golf course, right? So he was a veteran. He was able to play like that. Uh, he showed all the way throughout the year that he had uh, special qualities and continues to show that. College life was, was totally different. Uh, it was a different world for me, but I, I felt that I adjusted and, and got used to it. And It was good to know that what you've worked so hard for all your life, it, it's starting to pay off. So when I when I won the Y Ring into Collegiate, it, and it just showed me that I pretty much do anything I wanted with golf. Trent has gotten himself to this point, to be honest with you. Uh, probably the biggest thing that I talk to him about is mental toughness, responding to adversity, and not letting things outside his control get in his head or get in his way. After capturing his second straight Missouri Valley Individual Championship, Trent advanced to the NCAA Regionals and looked to secure a spot in the National Championship. Getting off to a good start when there was no win was ideal. And then the second round when I jumped out and took the lead was uh, was just as I drew it up in my head before I got there. And uh, just I knew the third round was going to be a grind. The winds were higher. We knew it was going to be a, a tough day. And there was a lot on the line in terms of having to, an opportunity to get out and go at the Nationals. Uh, he battled though right from the start and, and through the early going um, really kept himself right in there, made a couple scrappy pars, made a nice birdie and, and had himself in a great spot. And then it just went south and I'm sitting at six over thinking that, well, <laughs> that's over with and I had the lead, now, now I'm probably not even going to make it out. In a matter of about 45 minutes, it's like what just happened? But we know that's how golf is. There's highs and lows in it, and we know that it's not Disney World. And even though we want to go out and have fun, we're going to be challenged emotionally. And so uh, we just talked about staying in the present. We talk about in our program being an LTG, a legitimate tough guy. And uh, he is a legitimate tough guy. I asked Coach to keep me updated a little bit on the scores and he told me to stay in there. I'm just, I'm still right there and went out and played a solid back nine and got it done. I think we go back to D.A. Wybring's time back in the early 70s since we've had an individual go on to the national championship or a team be a part of that and, and now under the current regional structure and national structure uh, to have the, the first Redbird represent us at uh, the national championship is obviously very special. I was elated for him because I just see uh, the, how much he cares about the game and, and wants to play at highest the highest level he can and the impact he's had here at Illinois State. You know, this is going to be a feather in the cap. I think it's going to be a great experience, and, and it uh, really gives him a glimpse of, of how much he can accomplish and really how big his dreams need to be. I'd like to be the national champion, but uh, I'd say uh, an, inter an intermediate goal would be uh, to make it to the final round. I don't really have anything to prove to myself. I, I know what I'm capable of, so uh, I'm just going to go out there and play my game, whatever happens, happens.